Hi, it's Miss Boylan. I wanted to take a moment to show you how to install the Carrot app extension uh, for your Google Chrome browser. Okay, Carrot is a text editor that can be used to create HTML web pages. Important thing to note, if you're working on your coursework from home and you have a Chromebook, you will be using Carrot. The reason being, Chromebooks do not have a text editor installed and a text editor is required to make the web pages for our class. Okay, so Chromebook users will need to follow along with this to download and install and use the Carrot app. Now, does that mean that Windows users and Mac users shouldn't watch? No. Reason being, you too, if you're working on a Windows or a Mac machine from home, you can also download the Carrot text editor extension to your Chrome browser. Okay. Um, students at school cannot because the Carrot app extension is blocked by school computers. But so let's get back just real quick. So if you're if you're on a if you're working from school, you do not need to watch this video. Okay, the rest of you who are working from home, please watch this video. So why, if you don't have to use the Carrot, you know, if you're not on a Chromebook, why would I say you should use it? Um, reason being is Carrot is what's called a smart graphical text editor. So what does that mean? That means that as you type HTML code, there's a couple things you're going to note. One, the tags are going to be color coded depending on what kind of tags they are. The other thing is, is that your code is going to be automatically indented, which means nicely looking, you know, code. Um, easy to follow for other people as you know for yourself but for other people as well and then finally so in HTML most of our tags are going to have what's called an opening tag and a closing tag well what caret does is it automatically provides you the closing tag without you having to type it so as soon as you're done writing your opening tag it automatically adds your closing tag that just means one less work you have to do right less typing it also means less opportunities for errors in your code so consider it okay chromebook users you have to follow along okay so with that let's go ahead and let's get this chrome um, this chrome extension added all right okay so to start since it's a chrome extension we have to make sure that we're in the chrome browser once we're in the chrome browser let's just go to google and we're going to search for carrot app and carrot is c-a-r-e-t not carrot like a bunny okay so go ahead and click enter and that right there at the top the first one is carrot google chrome we're going to click on that okay the extension page opens up and there's the carrot extension and we're just going to click the add to chrome button this add carrot dialog box opens up and asks us if we want to add it and we do so we click add app takes a second it downloads and once it's done downloading and, and installing it automatically opens the apps page for your Google Chrome browser and notice that carrot is in there and notice the apps tab is open okay so how do you go about getting this if the apps tab isn't open okay so you'll notice right over here you've got the apps icon a couple of things this apps icon will only be shown if there are two things one if the bookmark this right here this is the bookmark toolbar if it's showing so the bookmark toolbar has to be showing and you have to have the apps shortcut showing so you need to make sure that you have show books bookmark bar and show apps shortcut okay then all you have to do is click over here at the apps icon all your apps open up and there's carrot for you so with that let's get started and let's see what carrot looks like okay so here's the carrot text editor environment um, and one thing to note is it immediately opens a text page called um, untitled.txt important to note we cannot create web pages using plain text so we have to change this to HTML so we're going to do that by right down here at the bottom of the editor window there's the plain text text let's go ahead and click on that we're going to scroll up here to HTML and click it so now you'll notice down here it says HTML 
Also notice though, this doesn't change. That's okay, we will change it in a moment, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add our, actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna work through the first web page assignment using Carrot, okay? And the very first thing that we have to do is to start adding our terrific 10 tags that are listed in the text. So I'm gonna do that now, okay? So give me just a second. Okay, so I've got the doc type HTML tag listed there, and I'm just about to finish the first opening HTML tag, right? And look at what happens. It automatically closes for me. That's what I'm talking about. It's smart like that, and so it will do that for you. So now I'm going to just click enter a couple of times to give some space between the opening and closing HTML uh, tags. I'm going to place my cursor at the end of the opening one and just press enter a couple of times again. And now I'm going to add the head tag. Notice that as soon as I'm done with the opening head tag, the closing head tag, it closes for me, right? Give a couple spaces again. Now I'm going to add a meta tag. It's important that you, you know, take a look at the text. It will explain to you what these tags are doing, okay? Now I'm going to add a title tag, and as soon as I'm done with the opening title tag, the closing title tag automatically is there for me. Before I move on, one of the requirements is to change the title or to add a title to my web page. So, and I'm instructed to call it first web page. Okay. So now that I've added that, I've actually got eight of my terrific 10, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now what I need to do is add the last two. So I'm going to come down here, put my cursor right after the closing head tag, and I'm just going to press enter key a couple of times and add the body tag. It's going to close up. Okay, just give a little space there, maybe one more. And now the other requirement of this first web page is that you need to add a short paragraph inside the body about yourself. Three to four sentences, right, about yourself and your experience with HTML. So I'm going to add that now. All right, so with the magic of the pause button, I have now added my paragraph about myself, and I'm ready to actually save this as a web page and then see it in a web browser, okay? So I'm going to come up here to File, and I'm going to go File, Save As. Okay, I'm going to navigate to my web design folder, and I'm going to go into the Module 1 folder. No, that's Module 2, Module 2 folder. And I'm going to call it what I'm instructed to call it, which is first web page dash, and then I put flask, which is first initial last name, so R Boylan, that's me, and then dot HTML. Okay, and so now I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now notice that when I do that, it changed from untitled.txt to first web page dash rboylan.html. Okay, so now we've got our first web page. Now we need to see what it looks like in a browser. So let's do that now. Okay, so now I'm just going to navigate to my web design folder and I'm going to go into the M2 folder and you'll notice there, look, it's um, first web page dash rboylan is listed there and you'll notice it has the Chrome browser icon along with it telling me that it's going to open. It's a web page and it's going to open in a web browser. It's going to open in the Chrome browser. So I'm going to double click this and voila, there is my web page. Okay, so a couple things to note. Remember in the title we called it first web page. Notice up here in the tab it says first web page. Within the body tags of my HTML document is where I added my paragraph about myself. And you'll notice here in the window of the web page is where my paragraph is listed. Okay, so let me show you one other thing that's important. You can click, right click here inside the, the window of the browser and say view page source. Okay, and it is going to open a new tab and it's going to show your page source. You can't edit it, but you can look at it, okay? So just to be aware, to edit it, we're going to have to go back to Carrot. So let me close this page source, and I want to give you a really important tip. This is a web designer's tip, okay? 
If you're working actively in one web page, leave it open in the web browser. Do not close it. Okay. Instead, what we're going to do is as we're actively working, right, we want to make a change, see what that change looks like. Make a change, see what that change looks like. We're going to do this back and forth. We toggle back and forth between our text editor and the web browser. So there's really no reason to keep opening that page over and over and over again. Okay. It wastes time. So let's see how this looks. So I'm going to show you. Notice that I'm, I'm looking here and I realize, holy smokes, I spelt Air Force wrong. I've got Air Forge. Silly, right? So I'm going to go edit that right now. So let me open Carrot back up, okay? And I'm going to come here and I'm going to find Forge and I'm going to change it to Force, okay? And now I can just go one, I can do File, Save File, or I can just do the, con the Control S as a shortcut. It's now saved. I come back to my browser. Okay, so here it is again. Notice it still says Air Forge. Okay, but what I have to do is I have to refresh this page. I have to tell the browser, hey, go look at the page again. I've made changes. Please refresh this. So I refresh it and look, now Air Force is spelled correctly. Okay, when you're working, like when we start adding colors and pictures and just doing things with formatting, you really don't want to close the browser and open it up and close it and open it up every time you make changes. So just keep that browser open and use refresh. Okay. And then one last thing I want to talk to you about. Okay, so the last thing I want to tell you is that, yes, in this video, I showed you the caret text editor. And the text editor that is in your assignment instructions is Notepad, and it looks different than the caret text editor. And if you're using a Mac machine and you choose to use text edit, that environment is going to look different than Notepad as well. It's going to look different than caret. The environments are all going to look different. One thing that will not be different is the HTML tags, okay? So it doesn't matter what text editor you are using. You review the assignment instructions and look at the tags that are listed in the text editor. You copy those tags to whatever text editor environment you are using and your page will work just fine. Okay, please let me know if you have any questions and I sure hope this was useful. Enjoy web designing and enjoy building your first web page. Ciao!